So I don't normally make videos on this kind of thing, but I kind of wanted to, to show you guys what exactly Sledgehammer Games is doing this year that has never been done before in Call of Duty. And on top of that, it is adding in so much free content into multiplayer, into zombies, weekly events, things like that. Because today we kind of got this surprise update. It's not an update. There was no weapon tuning or anything like that bug fixes. However, New things were added into the game, a new weapon, two new camos, a bunch of other things that you can go in, grind for, and unlock, and it appears as though they are doing this every single week, and you'll see what I mean once we dive into this, but I wanted to just make a quick video showing you guys what are the new things that they added, because there is a new event, there is a new camo, there is a new weapon, all of which were added today, all of which are free and then I wanted to discuss what this means for Modern Warfare 3 moving forward, because to me, this is a really big and good thing, and I think it just needs to be talked about. So let me show you what I'm talking about, and then I'll give you my opinion on it. So when we go in game here, we know that they have added in a bunch of events. And in fact, the one that they added in last week that there is one day remaining on is Makarov's return. As we know with this, you can go through and essentially by obtaining regular old XP, you get these various different things, some of which include double weapon XP, charms, stickers, and the final one is of course a weapon camo. This is the weapon camo that we were looking at here. It is called the Makarov camo, and they're pretty cool looking. But on top of that, this week, they added in a new weekly challenge. Now, these are interesting for a couple of reasons, because until now, all of the weekly challenges and events that we have received were all based off of XP. You get all of the XP, you get all of the items. However, the one that we just received is not. It is completely based off of challenges, and these are able to be completed in both zombies and multiplayer. And I would assume once we get these in war zone there's also going to be a third option as well to complete these in war zone so what are these challenges and what do you get so the first one is for the crowned calling card this one is get five melee kills with covert sneakers equipped in multiplayer or in zombies get 50 kills with a pack of punched melee weapon so both of which are melee weapons the second one in zombies is get 15 mercenary critical kills so headshots the second one is get one execution within multiplayer fairly easy the third one is get 10 kills after reloading in multiplayer or get 50 kills shortly after reloading with speed cola active in zombies. The fourth one is destroy four vehicles. This is in zombies or take down six aerial streaks in multiplayer. That one is much more difficult in multiplayer. And finally, we have get 141 kills in multiplayer, of course, one for one or get 141 critical kills in zombies. All in all, after looking at these, these are much easier in zombies. But after completing all five challenges, we unlocked the soft target camo. Now, this is cool. It's a full camo. You can use it on any weapons. Uh, it's not sort of reactive or anything like that, but it's a camo for all of the weapons. And these are seemingly coming every single week, but that's not all that we got this week. So before we move on to the other things that we got this week, I just wanted to say, if we have a look at this, you can see on this screen, there is very clearly room to have three events going on at a given time. So right now we have the macro of the one for one. There's clearly room for one more event on this screen. And I'm willing to bet that similar to what we had within Modern Warfare 2, we're going to have some sort of events coming throughout the seasons that are longer events, 14 day, even month long events, kind of like the soul capture event that we had during the haunting event in Modern Warfare 2. But there's also room for them to have weekly events. On top of this, the one that we got today is a six day event. So it's not just one event that we may have going on at a time. We can have seemingly up to three events going on at a given time within Modern Warfare 3. So this is the final week of Season 0 for Modern Warfare 3. And as we knew, with the final week being the fourth week, when you complete all of the challenges, it is going to give you the Golden River Weapon Camo. As you can see here, this one is reactive. It moves around. It is really cool. And we'll talk more about these seasonal camos in a second, uh, but that's not all. So up until this point, every single week we have received a aftermarket part. As you can see, we had the Jack Raven kit. Then we had the Jack Nightshade rifle kit. Then we had the WSP Akimbo brace stock. Finally, we have a weapon. So this week, instead of adding a final aftermarket part for a weapon, they added in a whole new weapon. Now, up until this point, we assumed that the TAC Eradicator, the weapon that you were looking at here, 
was going to be a season one weapon. However, as it turns out, they added it before season one even came out. It is a brand new weapon and you unlock it by completing five weekly challenges. Now, these weekly challenges are relatively easy. You can do them in zombies or multiplayer. There's a ton of challenges total. And in fact, there are 14 challenges and you only need to complete five to get this weapon. So you can pretty easily do this in like one game of zombies or multiplayer. But as I mentioned, you go into your weapons. This is a complete brand new weapon that is currently locked for me that you can go in, unlock, level up. So why did I want to make a video on this? Because this has never been done before in Call of Duty. We have never received this many free updates, things to grind for whatsoever. If you haven't noticed, we have got a new event every single week so far. Since the game has launched, we have our weekly challenges, we have daily challenges, of course, but we also have a weekly event. And up until this point, we've seen the events be able to unlock certain items via XP. You just play the game, you level up the event. Once you hit the top level, you get the weapon camo or operator or whatever it may be. This week, we have one that's based off of completing five challenges, all of which are relatively easy. You can do those in like three games of multiplayer or one game of zombies if you really go for it. So very easy challenges, 100%. But again, it gives you a reason to come back into the game, grind for a camo, and then we have our seasonal unlock for our seasonal weapon camo, which I believe is called the Golden River. And then you have weekly items like aftermarket parts and even today we got a brand new weapon added in via these weekly challenges this is something that has never been done before and i think honestly sledgehammer needs to be commended on it because i've said this for a long time we can't just have one giant update come out at the beginning of a season come in and people be like oh my god there's so much to do here this time we have an update coming out weekly, which gives us an event, which gives us weekly challenges, which gives us essentially a new weapon every single time, because let's face it, aftermarket parts basically create a new weapon every single week. And week after week, we are getting this new content, new things to play, new things to grind for. And that is absolutely amazing. I am going to be shocked if they keep this up for an entire year. Like I said, it has never been done before. And honestly, I have to say, I'm, I'm very, very impressed by it. Now, we're right around the corner. We are one week away from season one. And with one of the weapons coming out that we thought was coming out in season one coming out already, I'm very curious to see what happens next for season one. We have yet to receive a roadmap. We don't know what changes are coming to zombies. We know that there are certain things like rifts and new weapons and new schematics, but are, is the wallet coming? Are we getting X fill uh, streaks going on? Are those coming to zombies? What are all the changes going to be to Warzone? We should still have blog posts coming out over the next few days, but... I just wanted to give credit where credit is due. I am very impressed with the amount of weekly content and updates being added in. Right now, you can hop into game and have, well, technically three different camos to grind for. The Makarov event, the 141 event, and on top of that, the weekly challenge seasonal camo. You also have a new weapon that you can grind out, level up. So there's lots to do, and I'm very impressed by it. I don't know. I, I probably said that way too much. At this point, I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. Are you as impressed as I am? Do you like what they are doing here? Do you think this will continue through the rest of the year? If they add a weekly event every single week, I am going to be shocked. Like, seriously shocked. Like, I didn't expect it after the first week of the game coming out. Yet, here we are, four weeks in. I think this is our third event. Fourth weekly update. I'm impressed. So, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I know it was a ranty one and probably an unexpected one because I don't normally make videos like this, but I just wanted to get my opinion out there. And more importantly, I want to hear what you guys are thinking. If you're playing Modern Warfare 3, I know there's going to be people on this video saying Call of Duty is dead. No one cares about Modern Warfare 3. The game is just DLC. But this hasn't been done. This, this makes it a lot less like DLC, at least in my opinion. But hey, like I said, I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Are you as impressed as I am? Do you not care? Are you not playing? What are you thinking about the game down in the comments? But as always, if you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, all of that kind of jazz. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're